Hi, this is Anne with My Service Depot. In today's video, we're going to see how iFleet and Smart Service can help us keep track of customers' unique pricing. To start, we're going to go ahead and create a job. I'm going to highlight the screen here, then right click in the blue area and add a new job. We'll select Smith & Barry as our customer. Go ahead and keep the name here. You can change it if you wish. And inside the job, we'll see that it pulls over our default information. For this customer, we're going to have price breaks applied. So I'm going to come down to the customer button. This will take me to the customer at the location level where I can set up their price breaks. I've got two price breaks available for them. This first one for the fuses is going to be a progressive price break. So I've got my base quantity and then any additional fuses they purchase will be at that additional fuse price. Go ahead and save that. For my labor, we're going to have an absolute pricing. For absolute pricing, we can set up different steps or levels at which the price will break down into that discounted or increased price. We'll go ahead and save this one as well. If I come back to my job, I can go ahead and save this. We'll send it over to iFleet. Let's go ahead and create another job to send over to iFleet. This one's going to be for our price levels. Again, I'm going to highlight, right click and add a new job. We'll create this one for Action Fund Center. Again, I'll keep the name. You can change it if you wish to have something more descriptive. We'll see based on the parent customer, we have a price level selected here. This customer is part of our platinum plan, so they're gonna have their own special pricing. Again, we'll save it. That will go ahead and send it over to iFleet for us. Let's go ahead and create one more job. This one's going to have both price breaks and price levels available. That way in iFleet, we can take a look and see how we can select those from the field and apply the correct pricing for this individual job. We'll go ahead and select Smith & Barry again. And we already have our price break set up. So we'll go ahead and add our price level as well. Maybe they just signed up for a new contract or a service agreement plan, and they have both available. Again, in the field, we'll be able to select which of the pricing we wish to apply for them. So we'll go ahead and save this job. And now we're ready to take a look at how these will be affected in the field with iFleet. We have our first job here, job number 23. If I come in, I'm going to go to my job items, and we'll go ahead and select one of our items. We're going to add labor. Again, that was the progressive pricing. So we'll see here that depending on the quantity, it's going to change that rate for us. So as we go up in quantity, it'll go ahead and reduce based on what we have set up in Smart Service. We'll go ahead and say that they have a quantity of 10 here. You can hit the X at the top left. That'll save this job item with its unique pricing to my job in iFleet. Let's go ahead and take a look at our price levels in job 24. Again, I'm going to select my item. Because this price level is set up to select all of my items, we'll notice that this one's already going to reflect that unique pricing of a 10% discount for all items. In our last job, this one had both the price break and the price level. Again, I'll add my items. And once I add my item in here, we'll see that it prompts me, which do I wish to use? Do I want to apply the price break for the percent off or the individual pricing plan there? Or do I want to add the price level with the overall discount for all items? Go ahead and select our labor here. For this one, we'll go ahead and select our price level. For this price level, it's going to be a 5% increase on everything. So instead of 27 cents per minute, it's going to be 30 cents. So we can go ahead and enter our number there, and it will calculate that out for us. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com.